Russia. During this period, Russia grew from a collection of small principalities into a great country. Its isolation ended, allowing it to play a major role in history. After the decline of Kiev around 1060, Russia arrived as an assortment of separate small principalities such as Novgorod, Smolensk, Kiev, and Vladimir. This suddenly changed when the Mongols, under Batu Khan, invaded in 1238. They burned Moscow and damaged Kiev. The Khanate of the Golden Horde, or the Tartars, dominated Russia by demanding tribute in money and soldiers, and the Russians cooperated to avoid trouble. In the 1300s, Kiev was absorbed into Lithuania for a time. In 1263, Moscow had a new ruler, Prince Daniel, who gradually expanded its territories. Slowly, Moscow began to dominate the other Russian states. In 1380, the Muscovites defeated the Golden Horde, although the Tartars carried on raiding Moscow and demanding tribute until 1480. When Ivan III finally defeated them, Ivan III, or Ivan the Great, came to the throne of Moscow in 1462. He expanded Moscow and gave it a sense of pride, introduced a legal code, and declared himself ruler of all Russia. In 1472, he married Sophia, the niece of the last Byzantine emperor, and appointed himself the protector of the Eastern Orthodox Church, calling Moscow the Third Rome. By 1480, Ivan III had brought Novgorod and other cities under his control. He rebuilt Moscow's famous Kremlin citadel, and when he died in 1505, he was succeeded by his son Vasily, who ruled until 1533. Vasily was succeeded by Ivan IV, his three-year-old son. Ivan the Terrible. Ivan IV, or Ivan the Terrible, was the Grand Prince of Moscow from 1533 to 1584. He was crowned the first Tsar, or Emperor, in 1547. His harsh upbringing left him with a violent and unpredictable character, but his nickname meant awe-inspiring rather than terrible. He improved the legal system as well as reformed trade links with England and other European countries. Russia had until then been isolated. He captured Kazan and Astrakhan from the Tartars, pushing on towards Siberia. Ivan reduced the power of the boyars, or the nobility, by instituting a kind of secret police to bring the country under control. He set many patterns for the future and established strong central control by the Tsars. In 1581, in a fit of anger, he, was ki he killed his son and heir, Ivan, and so was succeeded by his second son, Fyodor, who was mentally unstable. The Romanov Tsars. After Ivan IV died in 1584, Boris Gudunov ruled as regent until Fyodor died in 1598. Boris made himself Tsar, despite opposition from the Boyars. He promoted foreign trade and defeated the Swedes, who fought to invade Russia. When he died in 1605, Russia entered eight years of civil war, as rival forces fought for the throne. Eventually, Ivan IV's great-nephew Mikhail Romanov from, uh, gained the throne in 1613. He was Tsar for 30 years, founding the Romanov dynasty, which ruled until 1917.